Green has just gone out again on lap 114. We're back to racing here at North Wilkesboro. Harry Gann opening up a 3-4 car length advantage. Well, they're all slipping and sliding up turn four. I saw Jimmy Hens at that time get sideways, and oh, Davey oh. Allen makes contact with Urban. Oh, they almost spun out as they made that contact. Now, look what out. What is going on? Look out. There, the cars are all jammed up behind them. Davey slid high coming out of turn two, and uh, Ernie Irvin got beneath him, and then they collided. And then they went into turn three and four and just slowed down. I don't know, and that really did jam them up behind them. Take a look at it again as Davey was on the outside of Ernie Urban. What happened was Davey got sideways and had to come down to try to save the car and ran in the side of Ernie Urban's car. Well, you can see why Ernie Urban slowed so much going into turn three because he was almost out, <laughs> out of control and he slowed it down to get back into control so that jammed everything up behind him. He was at almost a 90 degree angle and saved it. There's your leader, Harry Gant. He's led all the way so far, started on the pole. Hasn't been challenged yet. But with the second, that third car there, the 24, is Jimmy Hensley. He's not on the lead lap. He is in 13th position. One lap down. He had just been left before that first caution came out. Davey Allison still trying to get around Ernie Irvin. He, uh, on the inside of him now, coming off a of turn two. That's where they were about to get in trouble a little bit ago. Ooh, well, and Irvin <laughs> comes down yeah, and blocks that spot. Cuts him off. Davey had Ernie, to go to the infield. Now, Ernie's a lap down. He is being shown in the uh, 14th position. And I can see Ernie, I'm sure, is not happy about that incident over there a little bit ago, but Davey Allison, I mean, he did not hit Ernie intentionally. He lost control trying to save the car, came down and ran in the side of Ernie. And looking back at it, Ned, Davey Allison probably would have been better off to have hit it and fixed the car on the last caution yeah. flag. NASCAR officials have told both the 28 and the 4 crews to tell their drivers to cool it. They have issued a warning to both drivers. They run side by side again, coming out of turn two. Well, everybody's going to get to see if anything happens. We're looking straight in on it as they go into turn three, still side by side. You can see the damage here on the right side of Urban's car, just in front of the rear wheel. And now Allison gets around Ernie Urban. There he finally makes it. Boy, it takes off once he gets in front of him. Davey is third. Now here comes the 15 car of Morgan Shepard, who is fourth. Well, he'll have to uh, fight with Urban. I expect Ernie will give him the room that he needs out there. Yeah, Morgan just moves by on the outside. There's Rick Wilson, the left car, and then Brett Bodine got by Dale Jarrett up there in that little skirmish between the four car and the 28 car a little while ago. So Brett Bodine is running fifth, Dale Jarrett is sixth, and Dale Earnhardt is sixth.